Okay, so now let's create a sales funnel to actually make money, to make sales. So you're gonna see once again, it's very easy to, to do. So let's say it's the sales, sales funnel. So I will choose this option, but again, it doesn't really matter much. You know, I can add pages in a matter of minutes. So the default sales funnel is an order form so it's a page where visitors can enter their payment details and uh, uh, basically pay you and a thank you page. So I will choose this design that I really like. So here it says that I need to connect some payment gateways. So you can do so by going there in the payment gateways and you can cr connect to your Stripe account in just one click and connect also your PayPal account, okay? So let's leave it like this for now. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add, for example, a sales page. So sales page. Click here, I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna choose this template. All right, it's done. So in order to connect this sales page to the order form, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the sales page and actually edit the, the buttons. I'm gonna click here. So here I have several options. I can I can actually display a pop-up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just redirect onto the next step URL. So I'm gonna do the same here. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same for the other buttons. Yeah. This one too. I'm gonna click on save changes. Go back. View the page, go to the bottom, and now you see, I will go to the next page in the sales funnel, which is another form. So you can do anything you want on the payment page. You know, you can add like, you can remove some fields if you don't wanna add, for example, the VAT number, maybe you don't want to ask for all this info, you know, you can remove them as you want. Here you can do anything you want, add more sections, rows, absolutely everything you want. So let's leave, it like, let's leave it like this. So here that's the thank you page and you can also uh, display a recap of the order. And the cool thing is that you can actually add some upsells after uh, the, the purchase was made. So let's say I'm gonna add maybe a first upsell here. I'm gonna click on save. All right, and now I'm gonna add maybe a downsell. So what a downsell is, it really is a kind of upsell that is displayed only if someone say no to the upsell that is right before in the sales funnel. So I will choose the downsell type, right? So you see the icon is different. So I'm gonna move the thank you page because it comes after the upsell flow. So what it means is that I'm, I can send people to the sales page or straight to the payment page. After the payment, people are gonna be presented with an additional offer. So that's the first upsell. And here they have two buttons, one to accept the offer, one to decline the offer, okay? 
So if people say yes to this offer, they're gonna go straight to the next upsell in the sales funnel or straight to the thank you page. If they say no to this upsell, they're gonna, they're gonna be presented with the downsell uh, right after. So it's very convenient to create downsells. For example, if you make an offer like, you know, um, do you want this product for 297? People say no. You can add a downsell and say, okay, I understand, you know, it's a bit, uh, it's it's a bit pricey for you, uh, so maybe uh, you would like this um, installment plan, so that people can pay I don't know like four times ninety seven or something like that. So it's very convenient to make this kind of offer, and you can add as many upsells and downsells as you want in this sales funnel. Okay, so you see it's um, again in just a matter of clicks. In minutes you can create an entire sales funnel last thing i wanted to show you it's really cool it's the way we sell digi digital products with system.io so as i said in the beginning you don't need to create actually a product inside of system.io to create to, to sell digital products so we found out that it was actually very easy to create uh, to manage it with resources so what resources are uh, they're actually resources that uh, the people who buy are given access to and if there is a refund these resources will be removed from this buyer same thing for a subscription if someone for example you sell a product like a membership membership course uh, with a subscription if someone pays you can give him access to your course if he stops paying the subscription, the access, the resources will be automatically removed. So it's very convenient. So the resources, what I can do, so it can be a membership course, it can be a bundle, so several membership courses, it can be a tag, and it can be a physical product. So physical product, that means that an order is gonna be created, It's for people who sell physical products. So that's very convenient, very easy. You know, I can click here, uh, choose membership course. So I'm gonna choose a course. Right now I don't have any, but let's say I chose one. And here I can choose the access type, can be full access or drip content. For example, if you sell an expensive course with a lot of modules and chapters, you might want to uh, give access over time to your content. So you can do so with system.io. So it's very convenient. You can actually sell a subscription to sell, um, to give access to all your courses and you set a delay between uh, your courses so that people may, may, for example, receive one new course per week or one new course uh, every month. It's up to you to decide. So usually what we do is we're gonna give access to a membership course and we're gonna add another resource which is going to be add a tag to the customer so usually you create a tag like uh, product a dash customer and this way when someone buys your product is going to is going to get the the tag automatically added to it to him so that's very convenient because for example if you sell this product again to your list you want to uh, not include your past buyers in your mailing so you don't bother them because they already purchased the product. So that's very convenient and you should absolutely tag all your customers. This way you can segment your, your marketing, send emails to the right people at the right time and uh, make more money. So that's it to create a sales funnel to actually sell, pro sell products with System Ontario.